Now, I like this as a start because it, it sorts out the major shapes, and that's what you need to do. You don't have all day to do plain air, the sun moves. So what you've got now is you've got the major shapes laid out so you can get that paint on the canvas. Okay. Now, if you, in my way of doing it, what I like to do is I just like to cover the canvas with, with paint initially, get in the sky, get in the, you know, the mountains and the, and the rough thing, then we'll go back in and we'll, we'll refine it a little bit. Take a little bit of that and just mix them together until, yeah, actually, you know, you're a good mixer, that's pretty good. Like that? Yeah, that's right, and, and then just go to... ahead and get it on the canvas. Now rinse your brush and give it a little wipe and let's mix up a color for the background for the sky. Okay. And we can block that in. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, that's starting to look like And that. not mixing too completely is a good thing because it gives you some color variation on your canvas. So we're just going to block in the sky now? Yeah, try to work around. You can always go back and paint the edges later. But, so just try to work around the easel. By the time we've done that, this is pretty much dry. Mm. So that's great. We can now think about, you know, um, the different ins and outs of that building and mm. making some of them darker and some of them lighter. It's so got a lot of facets, that thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's an interesting building. Plain air painting is about the impression of the place. It was uh, mainly promoted by the Impressionists back in the 1870s when they came out of the comfort of their studios and went out into the, to the bright, fresh air and, and painted sun. So we're, we're basically looking for suggestions. You don't have to paint every crevice on that building. You'll be glad to know. <laughs> That's they're a not big gonna, relief. They're not going to count the windows. What mm -hmm. we're going to do is we're going to suggest that it has a side here and a couple of ins and outs and like that. So at this stage, Doug, you're just basically, you know, maybe adding some shadows in a few places, okay. defining a couple more edges, and it's amazing how quickly it all comes together. It's starting to come together. It's starting to look like something. Yes, it is. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to keep on painting. In the meantime, the Shaw TV crew went for a visit to Kelowna General Hospital with the pets and people to bring some cheer with the friendly animals.